Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa, the Canadian Museum of Nature. If you've not visited, I cannot encourage you enough to go down and bring your family when you have friends that are coming in from out of town. It's absolutely an amazing experience. And they have a great festival going on right now. It's called the Sphere Festival. And joining us to tell us more about it, I'm joined by the educator and program developer over there at the Museum of Nature, Catherine Day. Welcome, Catherine. Great to have you here. Great to be here. Great to be I here. I mean, let's first of all talk about this beautiful museum for people mm -hmm. that haven't been before. I mean, yeah. it, it's just a feast for this, all the senses, <laughs> isn't it? It is. It's a great. It's a great place. I love working there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the Sphere Festival. This is something very unique that you've decided to do. Tell me, what, what's the inspiration behind yeah, this? Yeah, it's really special. So we're going to be spending four days. We're running this festival with the uh, National Art Center Orchestra. Okay. So they had this idea to talk about listening in a time of climate crisis, and they said, you know. We do music, we do art, and we'd love to partner up with someone who does, talks about science and nature. And we're okay. like, we would love to be involved. So there's programming and all kinds of things happening in both of our locations. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of that programming because yeah. it's a unique partnership, as you said. One of the things you have is, is a sound scavenger hunt. You have to describe this for me. Okay, this is really fun. So the sound scavenger hunt, we have these scavenger hunts. When people come to the museum, we give them a little piece of paper or they can do it with their telephone if they want. Okay. They uh, get, read the clues, they try to find something in each of the galleries. And in this case, we're adding a layer of sound so with the orchestra the composers chose the answer to the clues in the different galleries which I'm not going to tell you today okay, so you okay. have to go and try it out yeah once you find the clue in the gallery then you use your phone we've got uh, you can scan uh, to hear a sound a, a QR code and the composers have actually written music for that item in the gallery so they've been inspired by the various inspired items throughout that. the gallery yeah and they use one instrument so they've been challenged to say just use one instrument let's say it's a cello or a trumpet uh, this kind of thing and then they uh, you listen to the sound and you you know you find your clue so it's, it's been a it. lot That's of fun a it's, a, it's been a really fun collaboration um, yeah. also you have some hands-on activities with scientists as well tell me about it. that yeah. yeah so Thursday night is our free evening so okay. um, you know starting at 4 30 we're going to have uh, CMN science uh, folks some of our experts who haven't been out uh, you know since you know before the pandemic they're really ramping up our programming again and we're going to be sort of playing with the idea of sound so do fish here or do whales here so for example that yeah, well, thing okay, over let's here. talk about what you brought here what, what is this yeah that uh, is a whale ear bone so a if you feel it if you, you can even listen it's quite it, heavy it is quite yeah. heavy um, and so we'll be talking about how different animals can hear. We'll be talking about, um, and this is like a, a whale vertebrae. Um, this is a whale vertebrae. Let me slide this over. Look at this. A whale cool. vertebrae. Very mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. It looks like a ship from like Battlestar Galactica <laughs> or something, <laughs> it does, right? It, does. it really does. Like sometimes cool, I wonder yeah. Yeah. if filmmakers and television, you know, producers and stuff, if they they must get a lot of inspiration from nature. They do. Right? When you they look do. at some of the crazy things that they come up with, it's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, biodiversity, yeah. climate change, that's another couple of themes, right, that you're yeah. working on. Exactly. So we're going to be um, looking at how uh, fossils give us clues to how the climate's been changing uh, over time. And a lot of our science staff, that's what they do. They they study things in nature, whether it's a plant, whether it's a little um, a lemming from the Arctic, these little cute little creatures. Right. They, they're, they're looking at how these behaviors and how the actual shape of the animal has changed over time. We're even to talk about polar bears and how a warming climate now they're actually feeling the implications of that right. and how they're so adapted to really cold climate and how that's changing now. I might be putting you on the spot here yeah. and I apologize but, I, <laughs> but you it. know what, what about you know something that you've learned that you were just sort of wowed with that, that you had no idea before and just working with the museum and, and maybe in particular this particular festival uh, that you've learned something that you you know that you would be able to share with oh. us. Well I, I, I'm all Always learning. I'm always yeah, learning more yeah. because I'm a science interpreter. So I take the science that our scientists do, and I turn it into something that you, that 
anybody who would walk into the museum, whether they know a lot about science or know nothing about science, uh, will learn, come away learning something new. Right. Um, or what the heck is a lichen? Like, what <laughs> does that even mean? But that's actually, you know, a, a really important source of food in the Arctic for things like okay. a caribou, just, just as, as an example. And we're going to have a lichen plinko game. So kid, people can play a game and then they learn. So this is the kind of thing. We'll be doing all kinds of cool stuff also on the weekend. We're going to have a, a, bee, um, a beekeeper procession, a okay. Okay. and we're going to have a kid's storytelling activity and there's going to be a lot of really good programming. Uh, something else that's happening there is, mm -hmm. is Planet Ice and it's been so popular yeah. you've yeah. decided to extend it at the museum, right? Absolutely. It's a really, really fun um, exhibit, a temporary one that we've got and it's really fun because it's good for all ages. Like okay. there's like little interactives like uh, adults and kids can make a little snowflake on the screen and they can, there's some augmented reality so you swoosh your arms around and there's activities like that. There's a real, like, a replica of, an, of um, what an ice hut looks like. If you've ever seen okay. ice fishing yeah, out, yeah, on, out on the river. So that's one of my personal favorites. And there's these interesting little Neanderthal, uh, like, wax figurines. So you can really see what Neanderthal people look like. It's yeah. amazing. I love yeah. it. Well, let's, uh, I mean, there's ongoing program all the time. Uh, we're just looking at some of the great visuals here on screen. Mm -hmm. For people that have never been to the museum, what, what else will they find on their visit? Oh, geez. Well, they, we've got the, I mean, for this festival this weekend, there's all kinds of things to do. We have self-guided activities. We've got live insects. We have, um, you know, ocean creatures. We've got all kinds of uh, special programming over these four days. Um, and there's also really cool stuff going on over at the National Arts Center. We're uh, providing... Oh, you have an exhibit there too, Oh, right? yeah, yeah, this yeah. art installation. There's going to be um, like things like these vertebrae that I'm showing you. All kinds of stuff are going to be in installed there with artistic, like, musical sc scores and all kinds of... It's just really a, a great combination of art and science Well, and it's there. nice to see these, mm -hmm. the, you know, this partnership with the yeah. NAC and the Mu Museum of Nature, you know, bringing to, I mean, really iconic places, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if, whether you live in Ottawa or you're just visiting, yeah. these are two places you're going to end up going. So it's, it's yeah. great to see that you partnered up. Yeah. Uh, all, the full schedule online on Absolutely. the website, right? Absolutely. I'd say go there to check it out. Uh, some things are free, some things that you have okay. tickets, and there's concerts uh, through the orchestra. Yeah. Nature.ca is the website. We'll be back with more right after this.